everyone, I'm Sarah and today I've got a pack with me for Disneyland Paris video. Now you're probably wondering why on earth are you wearing a woolly hat indoors and it's just because this is one of the things I will be packing amongst my luggage because Disneyland Paris is famous for being freezing at this time of year so you definitely have to be prepared. So let's get packing. <laughs> So first we start with our luggage. This is my Cars Lightning McQueen uh, hand luggage, or it's actually a kid's suitcase. But I found it at a boot fair, fell in love with it. Obviously it's Disney, it's amazing. I mean, it has the wheels on it so you can pull it along uh, like it's actually Lightning McQueen, which is awesome. Um, and who doesn't want a bit of Disney added? to their luggage. So first we start with our front pocket that we have here, which is Lightning McQueen's head. And this is where we like to put our snacks. So I have got some Gray's Protein Oat Bites. They are peanut butter and chocolate flavor. They are absolutely delicious. We always try to take a snack protein type bar with us to keep us surviving through the day in the park. Disney snacks are amazing and I'm sure we will buy a couple throughout the day but you need something to give you that extra boost um, to help you survive the long day and all that energy you're using for those long hours in the park. So we'll put those in. I apologise for the noise. It is my cat running up and down the stairs with her toy. <laughs> So that's our snacks put in the pocket and we're going to the main compartment. So it's just a simple main compartment. I like it because you don't have a zip halfway through. It's nice and at the top. So we'll start with um, my trainers. They always go at the bottom. These ones are new to me, but I have had similar uh, style with a different uh, design on them and they are very comfy so these are going to be one of the pairs of my park trainers they're also really um, good for the cold weather because it does tend to get quite cold in Disneyland Paris at this time of year so it's nicer to have something that's going to keep your feet warm and dry essentially as well because often there's a lot of rain so I like to stuff my trainers with um, underwear so my first one I will be putting in some socks and all my socks are Disney. I have ones with um, Mickey Mouse on, little uh, short ones, because I like to take long and short socks. Oh, we've got a whole variety here. And these ones are Minnie Mouse. They've both got Minnie Mouse on them. Uh, these ones are just Mickey heads. And then these ones are pretty cute because they have Mickey and Minnie, which makes up two halves of a heart, which is super cute. So, yeah, like I say, I like to take long and uh, short ones because if the long ones aren't warm enough for the weather, I just chuck on a sh short pair over the top because I'm really not into wearing super thick socks. I can't stand them. So I'm stuffing my socks inside my shoe just as a space saver. And that's my first thing in the case. So my second shoe, I'm gonna put me underwear in. And again, it's a case of rolling it up and stuffing it in. So we'll just stuff that down there. And that one in there. And that one in there. And that's those already unpacked. So next is my only pair of trousers I'm taking. They're sort of um, a jersey material but they do have um, sort of an ankle band on them so they're almost like a jogger trouser jersey. I can't explain them. <laughs> um, they're from uh, yours, the plus size company. They're just super comfortable and I'm all about comfort for the parks. Um, I just think you have to be comfortable for the long hours that you're there. So we'll tuck that one in the bottom as it's one of the bigger things. And then I'm taking an Olaf t-shirt. 
which is still in the shops, uh, still at Primark. I only recently bought this, uh, especially for this trip. So that's my Olaf t-shirt. And we'll... I like to roll things up. I just find it is much easier on space. And um, I would use the luggage um, cubes, packing bag things, but it's not worth it in this because it's so small. And uh, next we have another t-shirt. This is just one that I bought at the outlets in Florida last year, I believe it was, possibly the year before. And it's just got badges all over it. It's got Mickey, WDW. It's just a nice, simple, all over print t-shirt, which I do prefer with Disney, the all over prints. And we get that in there like so. And then I've got nightwear. I like to take pyjamas just because, I don't know about anyone else, but I can never control the temperature in a hotel, no matter how hard I try. So I've bought a nighty to go over the matching pyjama bottoms. Um, it's just, you have the two options then. If you're too hot, you can just wear your nighty. If you're too cold then you've got your pyjamas as well so that is those and they can go in the bottom like so and then we have bras I just wear sports bras in the park again it's all about comfort so I just have a couple of those and they roll up nicely and they'll probably fit in there like so and then next we have my toiletry bag. So I'm not a makeup wearer, never have been, um, even for special occasions it's kind of a push. Um, so this is mostly um, shower stuff and moisturisers and things. So I have a little shower puff, it's a small one, so it's a travel one. I have plasters because oh, it's awful when you don't have a plaster. Uh, blisters, cut your finger, uh, anything plasters can't live without them i know that disney have their own bath products but i've just bought a nice shower foam i love that absolutely love the smell of this one um it's just so nice so creamy and absolutely lovely i have a roll on as that's the deodorant i prefer to wear this is a sure one nice simple flowery smell i have a body butter I take moisturiser just because where the weather is so dry, um, I find that I often need more moisturiser than I normally do. So I like to bring a body butter. So that's a mango one from the body shop. I have a face cream that has SPF factor 50 in it. Because even when the weather is cold at Disney, you still get that sun. So you need to protect your face and make sure that you're looking after that skin so that is my little pot of face cream a small toothpaste for me and my husband to share i'll add my toothbrush on the day because obviously i'll need that before we go i have one of these eye masks i don't sleep very well in hotels so i have brought this um just because they help you relax a bit more and they're very nice and calming they smell absolutely lovely and yeah, it's just a nice way to try and help me fall asleep if I'm really struggling. And then again, going back to your face and the condition of how your skin can end up. Uh, it's just dry and things like that, just from the cold and all that sort of thing. So I like to take a face mask just as a pick me up, just to freshen my skin and give it that little extra bit of support. So that is those. So we're trying to squeeze all this back in. She's like, yeah, how did I get it in in the first place? <laughs> uh, toothpaste, and then we'll just squeeze the poof on the top. <laughs> it will go in, it will go in. Da, 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 da. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So then that squishes up the front, nice and hidden away. And then next we have 
what everyone must have in their packing and that's a spirit jersey mine is california disney as you can tell by the script i don't currently have a disneyland paris one so i like to take this one because it says disneyland on it and it's just perfect everyone raves about them for the right reasons they are amazing they're so comfy they're so easy to wear they're perfect to chuck on when it's a little bit nippy it's they're just brilliant i just love them and this one's perfect it's black it's simple it's lovely it's amazing and then we will just add that in to the bag we'll just fold that one and pop that in the middle i then have my ursula hairbrush this was in primark i don't know if they're still available or not i know they have lots of characters but ursula i just love her she's amazing she's the one of the best villains in my opinion absolutely adore her so that's my ursula hairbrush and then something else i can't live without and that is face wipes oh i don't know about anyone else but these are my life <laughs> if i don't have face wipes with me it's a sad day i can just use them for everything um in primark they're two for a pound these are my favorite ones from primark they're just so refreshing really nice even better if you chuck them in the fridge um just absolutely love those can't live without those and then a uh, famous umbrella everyone has to have an umbrella for disneyland paris because like florida you can't predict the weather um it could just be a cold day but then it rains it's oh it's so awful this is a small one it's very strong i've had it for quite a long time it's really handy and it will probably go in my husband's backpack once we're there um, but i'm just going to pop it in my suitcase for now mostly so i don't forget it <laughs> and then i've only taken one pair of ears um, these are Christmas ones which I made I absolutely love them it's going to be Christmas when we get there it would have just changed over to Christmas so I'm super excited so it's just one pair of ears I will be taking with me and then last but not least I have a hoodie uh, it's just a plain stripy <laughs> I say plain it's stripy it's just a simple hoodie it's plain in terms of it's not Disney it's just a stripy hoodie which is just extra warm for the weather and I'm just going to tuck that over everything in the case. And then we're going to do this bad boy up. Like so. And voila, we are packed. As we're going in the car, I don't need any form of hand luggage. But it is nice to have a little bag for the park with some park essentials. I have also included here... Um, you will definitely need your passports if you're leaving the country to go into the park and we're obviously leaving England to go to France so we will definitely need our passports. I also have here the magic starts here this is the little uh, pack you get from Disneyland Paris with all your booking information in it it's really cool it's like this little fold out book you have your paperwork in it a guide to the parks it has everything you need in there like maps and all sorts of fun information and then some lovely disney luggage tags as well this is obviously an essential for your trip because you won't be able to get into your hotel or the parks without it <laughs> um, but this will probably be in my husband's backpack but i wanted to include it because you don't want to forget this if you're staying at disneyland paris and then I always have just a little across the body bag. I'm not a fan of any other type of bag. I like across the body ones. This is one of my favorite ones. This came from the Disney store. It's obviously the Cheshire Cat in all his wonderfulness. There's also um, the White Rabbit as a little key ring on the side there. Absolutely love this bag. It's absolutely adorable. Has all like raised texture on it. I've had it for a few years. It's, it's just amazing, I love it. You also have a bit on the back that unzips and you can turn this into a bum bag or if you're American, a fanny pack. So it's a super handy little bag. And then we open up inside and inside I have anti-back because who doesn't want 
hand sanitizer, um, all the things you touch in the park, you definitely need a hand sanitizer. This comes from the pound shop. I can't remember how many come in a pack, but you get a few in a pack and it's really handy. So I always take one of those ibuprofen um, or any medications you might need these are just if you get a headache or you're feeling a bit woozy after a long day in the park always handy to have pack of tissues again always handy to have you never know when you might need a tissue um, they're just really perfect to have with you and these come in I believe a pack of six or eight and I get them in home bargains they're just like a nice handy size I also have my own shopping bag, a uh, reusable shopping bag. I know they sell them in Disney now, but this one came from Primark. It's just a Toy Story one. I can fold it away nicely and I save my money from buying one in the park and I can spend it on more Disney merch. I have plasters because you never know when you might need a plaster. Um, you might cut your finger, get a blister got to have plasters I always bring absolutely tons of them and last but not least I have a lip balm I don't know about anyone else but I love a lip balm on a daily basis anyway um, but for the parks I find especially in the winter you dry out a lot more your skin dries out a lot more so it's perfect for that it's also good to use as a barrier on your nose to stop your nose getting sore um, so love a lip balm so that is my park essentials and it's in this adorable bag who doesn't love the cheshire cat <laughs> so yeah obviously you'll have your unique items that you like to add in your bag but that is what i like to take with me <laughs> So I like to have my outfit planned and picked out for the day. Normally I'd have a travel day outfit and then something I change into when I get there. But as we're going to Disneyland Paris in the car and we're gonna be limited on time, this will be my travel outfit as well as my day in the park outfit. So let's get started. This is my other pair of shoes that I will be taking with me. They are, again, a Primark pair of shoes, as you probably have worked out by now. I pretty much live in that shop. <laughs> so these are almost like a slip-on van-style shoe. They are so super comfortable, perfect for travelling, easy to kick off in the car when you're a passenger, like me. Um, just brilliant, and also awesomely amazing for when you get into the park so that is my shoes i then have some very simple uh, long mickey socks in the similar sort of colors i just really like them they're a simple design but just lovely mickey disney socks <laughs> so they'll go with my shoes and then my only thing that's not mickey is this Toy Story and it is a night shirt this uh, top but I'm going to be wearing it as an oversized uh, t-shirt I do absolutely love Toy Story it is one of my ultimate favorite things so if I can sneak in a bit of Toy Story I will and this is just super simple with the navy blue and white stripe and then the lovely bright pink Toy Story symbol in the middle absolutely love that and like I said it is a night shirt but I'm going to be wearing it as a long oversized t-shirt and with that, I will be wearing just a long, simple pair of leggings. These are just a uh, Pep and Co, I think. Yeah, just a Pep and Co, um, which is in the pound shop. They are super comfy, really nice. Absolutely love in those. Then I have myself a Mickey scarf. I don't really want to take a big, chunky scarf with me just because then I have to carry it around and I just can't be bothered. Um, so it's just something to cover up my neck and just keep the wind away. So I have this lovely uh, Mickey and Minnie scarf, which I got from Primark a few years ago. It's huge. It's perfect for just keeping your neck warm and to look pretty as well. It's really nice. Um, I've realised I'm holding the print upside down. <laughs> Uh, it's just Mickey and Minnie in a car kissing. It's oh, it's just lovely. Love it. So that's yeah, a scarf, perfect essential. 
Then I have a super long uh, hooded top. I love this again. This is Primark. Really long hooded top. Really like it. I am a hoodie kind of girl, so that is that. Then a pair of gloves, which is an essential at this time of year. These are just long, simple ones. Again, not too bulky because obviously you're getting on and off of rides, but just an essential for this time of year because it can get rather chilly and I have included both mine and my husband's hats we bought these in Primark last year I believe and they're just adorable I love them and it's one way I can get him to wear something Mickey on his head <laughs> So yeah, these are our hats. They are perfect. Um, they are why I'm only taking one pair of ears because I can wear these as well as Mickey ears and they are just super cute. So that is my travel and park first day outfit. So I'm now all ready and packed to get on our way to Disney. We are driving, and so that means we will be taking a ferry from Dover and then driving from Calais to Disneyland Paris. We've done it before, it's a really simple journey and we just love it, it's convenient for us and it's you know nice to go in your own car and take the world with you essentially if you want to but as you can see I've packed minimally uh, just because I don't want to take loads of stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited for this trip. It's been a long time coming. I'm hoping to share it with you when I get back. I'm so excited for that. And yeah, it's just going to be amazing. Um, by the time you have watched this video, we are either there or we have just got back. So thanks so much for watching the video. I hope it was helpful to you. A little insight to how I pack my bag and really nice to share it with you I love watching packing videos it just gives you um, ideas you didn't even think of before and it's um, all good fun so thanks so much for watching really appreciate it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to subscribe that would be absolutely amazing and if you do so please click that notification bell and you will know of any future videos that I have put up so thanks guys, have a magical day and keep living your daydream life. Bye!